Welcome back. Endemol, the Dutch TV company that invented reality TV, has spent the last week where it likes to be, in the news. The Australian version of the Big Brother show was recently condemned for failing to tell a contestant that her father had died while she was in the house. In the UK, the Big Brother racism row was back in the headlines when some fresh footage was rolled out. And in Holland, the new Big Donor show told viewers that one lucky contestant dying of kidney failure could win a replacement organ from a terminally ill cancer patient. The kidney show turned out to be a hoax, but it had some people fooled. The Listening Post's Salah Qatar now on how far reality TV is willing to go and what viewers are willing to watch. Big Brother producer Endemol found itself in the eye of a media storm last week when it unveiled a new entertainment show in which three contestants with kidney failure pitted themselves against each other to win a life-saving organ donation from a woman dying of cancer. Three people who need a new kidney. This is cynical exploitation. The Second Kamer finds the program unsmakelijk. The makers of Big Brother have done it again. Unethical and tasteless. A smakeloos program. The Big Donor Show is designed to cause outrage. Has reality TV gone too far? It was just what the program makers wanted. We had a press release last Friday, and nobody reacted. And we thought, oh God, everything goes wrong because there's no attention. And then on Saturday, there was one Dutch newspaper who had a very small uh, uh, piece of it. That was picked up by uh, the Observer in England. And from that moment on, it exploded in the rest of the world. The world's press dutifully rolled up to see the show. In Belgium, people are quite shocked that there can be a show where people actually decide about who's going to live or who's going to die and who gets the kidney, and um, they think it's a bit playing with the emotions and the feelings of these very sick people. Politicians weighed in with Dutch Prime Minister Jan Peter Balkenende condemning the programme, but some MPs got behind the show. Every year in the Netherlands, almost 1,500, 2,000 people are waiting for a donor, but there are only like 300, 400 kidneys or whatever kind of organs available a year. So the chance that you are helped in this country with a new kidney or whatever is very low. And the pr makers of this program say, well, we have um, this, uh, the, the same, of the same chance because you're one of the three, so we have more chance than in actual real life to get a kidney. So there, there's, a, there's a, a, again a wink uh, uh, in, in this. Viewers were intrigued by the concept. It's not to shock people, it's to make them realize that there are a lot of people that have to donate. So, uh, a donor, of being a donor, and I think that's really good. They know what they're doing, and they know there is a chance that they are not going to win. So, I think they just want to take the risk and uh, see what is going to happen. It's a weird, weird idea that they're going to make a lottery out of it, with the SMS te text messaging and, and that stuff. But it, yeah, why not? We are very curious what's going to happen. Yes. We, we don't know, and everybody's speculating about is it a joke? Are, are what are we going to do it? So, so it's, it's kind of fun, also. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Curiosity. <wanna> know. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that respected public broadcaster BNN was airing the show helped win support from the home audience. I hope that the BNN factor in this program will be higher than the animal factor in it. And the genuine way of the BNN approach to these issues and the uh, uh, mass approach that Animal is always having, maybe it's an ideal combination. And this program is their uh, very good love baby. We will, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's the same. We will see it tonight. On Friday night, the live show went ahead. Lisa, a 37-year-old cancer patient, listened to the contestants' stories and viewers texted in their votes. But just as the winner was about to be announced, the host, Patrick Ledeas, revealed the show was actually a hoax. Lisa was an actress and the three contestants in need of kidney transplants were in on the stunt. We never planned to make this show seriously. We never planned to make a show where someone give away, gives away his kidney because that's, not, that's, a, uh, that's a bridge too far. So from the, right from the beginning, we realized that if we want to make a show like this, it has to be very special and it has to be a hoax. For me, 
uh, it, it already worked because we had uh, uh, more attention uh, to the problem of organ donation in the last seven days, more than the last seven years. And tonight, only tonight, we had 12,000 new applicants for a donation form, which is huge in, in, in Dutch uh, uh, territory. So we already succeeded. Of course, I would love it if the ratings are also high tomorrow. And I will buy every newspaper to see how the politicians who were against this show react tomorrow and see if they are a little bit ashamed because they were really very quickly with their reaction and they didn't wait to see what it uh, was all about. Endemol is in need of some good publicity. Its reputation has been tarnished by the ongoing Big Brother racism row in the UK in which celebrity housemates bullied Bollywood actress Shilpa Shetty. And in Australia, producers decided not to tell a Big Brother contestant that her father had died while she was in the house, causing a public outcry. For many, the idea that Big Brother creator Endemol had gained a social conscience was hard to swallow. This is supposed to raise awareness of a very important issue. Well, are we talking about organ donation? No, we're not. Are, is the world's media talking about organ donation? But no, they're not. What they're talking about is Endemol and reality TV shows. So if Endemol's aim in making this show was to publicize not itself, but organ donation, then it hasn't quite succeeded in that, has it? But perhaps the most surprising aspect of the big donor show was how far the viewers were willing to buy into the program. There was so much attention in the world and the people believed that this was real. So apparently somewhere in the world it's more or less accepted that shows like this could happen. But I would say from my personal ethics and I also think it's, our, it's the company ethics, you cannot play with people's lives. You cannot disappoint two people in the night and say well you don't get a kidney and you get a kidney. You cannot play for God. But it's interesting to find out that apparently in the rest of the world people really believe that this show can be made. It's, it's astonishing, actually. <laughs> in essence, you can't have a reality show unless the people who are making the reality show are playing God. And what's interesting is we shouldn't let ourselves off the hook here. We as viewers most like to watch those shows which are most manipulated. Some thoughts on reality TV now from our Global Village Voices. I get air from a respirator. And that's how I speak too. It was so great to see the big donor show, but then it turned out to be a big hoax. That was so good. Now I have downloaded a form, a donor form too, and, and I am sending it in because I know I won't live long. I watched the show. And during the show, I kept thinking, are they really going to do this? They got a lot of awareness. And actually, I can't think of a better way to get global media attention like this. They fooled us all. But was it a good idea? They convinced me to fill in a donor form. Finally, we've all seen athletes and coaches lose their temper in the heat of competition, but not like this. A minor league baseball manager in Tennessee was all over the World Wide Web this week after coming completely unstuck when an umpire tossed him from a game. His tantrum included rearranging parts of the infield, stealing the bases, and impersonating a commando launching a grenade attack at the umpire. The lengths that some people will go to to get on our Internet Video of the Week. See you next time at the Listening Post.